Hey guys, here is example four. Find the x and y intercepts of the line that is tangent to the curve at y equals x to the third at the point negative two comma eight. This question is really asking you to, do you understand what it means to have a tangent? Do you know how to use um, the derivative, okay? Well, it's asking for you to find x and y intercept of the tangent. That means you need the tangent first, right? Need tangent line first, tangent line first, okay? Well, to write, to find the tangent line, I need a point and I need a slope, okay? Well, the point is known. The point is right here. The point is known, okay? The point is right there. Awesome. One less thing for me to find on my own. So now let's find the slope. Well, now we know how to find the slope. The slope is going to be y prime equals, y prime of y equals 3x is going to be 3x squared. Then what you need to do here is I need to find the slope at exactly x equals 2 to negative 2. So this bar right here tells me I'm about to evaluate at x equals to negative 2. So when x is equal to negative 2, 3 times negative 2 squared equals 3 times 4, which is really 12. So guess what? Your slope currently is 12, okay? Well, I have a slope. Now I can find the equation of a line, okay? So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I know y1 is giving to me, y1 was negative 8. I know the slope, we found it on our own, 12. And then I know x1 was also given, so here's what it is. So this is y plus 8 equals 12x. This is an addition now, that's 24, okay? I will now subtract 8 to both sides, okay? So y is going to be 12x, 24 minus 8, that's going to give me 16, so plus 16. So that's the tangent line. I'm really not, it doesn't say find the tangent line. It says find the x and y intercept. So x intercept of the tangent is when y is 0, so 0 equals 12x plus 16, move 16 over. 16 equals 12x, divide both sides, so x equals negative 16 over 12. No, you can't leave it like that. You have to simplify that down to negative 4 over 3. So that is my x-intercept. y-intercept is when x is 0. So when x is 0, y equals 12 times 0, 0, okay, plus 16. So y is going to come out to be 16. No, these two are not one point. They are, you can, you can box them up as is. Or you can write them as x intercept is y is 0. So make sure you write negative 4 comma 3. I mean, it's like negative 4 over 3 comma 0. Y intercept when x is 0. So you write it like this. If you choose to. Or just box it up just like I did down here. Okay. So these are the intercepts. Okay. X and y intercepts of the tangent line. Okay. And that's the end of this example.